Hey guys, ladies and gents, I'm back. I tried to do a video last night. I was making a custard bat pie, and I got everything together. I made the, the pepper J crust, I made the custard, and ran out of storage space. So what I did today, I went and bought an SB card, had it put in my phone that will stretch out. And I got a lot more storage space. So what I did was uh, put the recipe together. And I did uh, my own pack crust recipe, which was, uh, here's the pack crust. We're going to get them ready to roll it out. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour. A half a, a teaspoon of salt, and I told you how I mix my salt together. And uh, the ice water that I strain in there. Uh, I was going to say I go anywhere from half, um, a quarter cup, maybe less. When I get in there with my fingers, and there, I can feel my dough. And you want a Pyrex, a glass Pyrex pie plate to do that. Just set him right here until we get our dough rolled out. Okay. And of course, a stick of ice cold butter, and I use maybe a quarter stick of a Crisco baking stick, which is just shortening, but a good one. And this is what we got. You can see the specks of butter and uh, shorten it through the dough. You know you're going to have a good dough because when that heat hit those pockets of butter and, and uh, shortening, it's going to make it uh, stain. And that's how you get a really good flaky dough. So let's get it rolled out and get this pan in the oven. Uh -uh. Because I'm tired. I worked all day today. I'm tired. And we're going to do a second video because I found some uh, lake perch fish and I'm going to fry that. It's going to be kind of hard at first to get this rolled out, but we're going to work with it. And I want some fried fish with a nice salad. I bought one at Walmart. I like that uh, uh, chicken and walnut with the apple and the cranberry. But I like just plain ranch dressing. Okay. It's cracking on me because it's so cold, but it's dope. You can always just put it back together and get that out of my way. Take it. sure you keep this and I didn't flour my uh, my uh, rolling pin you definitely want to do that but you don't want to use too much flour because you don't want to dry out your crust okay. I use some elbow grease ladies and gents until you know, you get it, the uh, crust at a good temperature that it wants to cooperate with. You man, it's really cold, which is good for a crust. I'll just keep, you know, turning it. Let's get there, get there. The more I uh, roll it out, the more pliable it's getting. Don't worry about it. See how it's cracking up there? You just put it right back together. That's all. It goes right back together. That's all you do. Like do a quarter turn. Keep going at it. Oh, this crust is going to be a delicious crust. It really is. Okay, let's get rolled out here. Can't 
Okay, you guys see all the speckles in there of, of butter and Crisco. Wow, this is fantastic. Really fantastic crust. And while we, let me stop for a second because I also got our custard made up. I made it up last night. And that consists of um, three eggs. Now, it says the recipe wants three quarters of a cup of sugar, but to me, that doesn't make it sweet enough. So that's like uh, a half and a quarter cup of sugar. I'll go ahead and put a whole cup so it's sweet enough. And i put a... Uh, a quarter teaspoon, I'll go ahead and put uh, a half a teaspoon of salt. I, I want to really have a good flavor of custard. I like flavor. And uh, I put a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And uh, I put a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract, remember? And two and a half cups of half and half milk. Let me, excuse me, let me get it. I want to get you guys to see this milk. And there it is. Yeah, you can whip this milk and, and uh, make whipped cream, of course. But if you over whip it, you come out with butter. That's how rich this milk is. Okay. You got a good crust here. Uh, I believe we got enough here. So what you do, you take your rolling pin, bring your crust up, and roll it over like so. Don't worry about tearing and all that, girl. That's nothing. Put that plate down there. Put it up there and unroll it right on your pack plate. There you go. And adjust it in there. You know, because we're going to crimp it on there. Okay. Make sure you fit it in the pan very well. There we go. And then, there's all kinds of ways you can uh, do the... Uh, crimping of the crust, you know, just make sure it's in there well. Okay, now you can, uh, let me grab a wooden spoon. Okay, sit down here a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna warm our crust because it's supposed to be warm before it goes into the oven. Get a pot. And just pour it in there. You're going to do yours from scratch, you know. Make sure you get everything. So I'm at the bottom. A little bit. I'm going to pour a little bit back in there. Get your heat on and start heating it. And get my whisk. I want everything out of there. All my seasoning. Chat. I, I don't have nothing to wait. And you want to taste it good. So you get all of your seasoning. There we go. And whisk it up. That's warming. Let's get our crust together. Let's start where the crust is really overhanging and work with it. Now you can take your stuff, uh, handle your wooden spoon and just go like that and crimp it. You know, like so. But what I like to do is take it and tuck it under and just Pinch it like that with your two fingers. 
you still gonna have excess, so you can take that right off because some parts of it, as you can see, right here, you can take that extra crust and fix that part up. So just make it easy on yourself, and it's gonna look pretty. Let's take your two fingers. Tuck it under and crimp it. That's it. Okay. Nothing's perfect. It, and we are do everything from scratch, so it's not coming off of a, a commercial belt or anything like that, so nothing is going to be perfect. Well, you can get a knife and cut it off. Child, I'm going to use my thumb. I'm wrong. Just keep your extra crust. And crimp. And crimp. Crimp. I'm just look. Smooth it out. Crimp. Just take that excess off. Now, don't ever throw it away because it's a very good dough. The kids might want to make cookies like I used to when my mom made dough. I made cookies. That's a piece of, good piece of butter there. So, I'm going to put some dough over it. And then crimp it. Okay. Like I said, it's all from scratch. Nothing's perfect. As long as it tastes good. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget your milk. You want to stir it. Make sure you get stirred. You don't want it to scorch. If you scorch it, <laughs> you got to start all over with the custard. Y'all know my motto. Hit it, quit it, and get through with it. And get starting over. Okay. This piece right here. And patch it up. Won't have an overflow and a mess in the oven. Sure, you want to have a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil, and that's what you're going to put your pie plate on. We don't have that much crust left over. Okay. Here, black. 
getting it out. Let's see. Oh, crap. But I'm not selling this pie or anything. It's just for demonstration for you guys. And I'm showing you how to crib. You can take your time and make it perfect. I'm not. So, let me get my custard. I just want it to be worn through. You don't want to boil it at all. Just let it come to a simmer. Now, you guys, let me see what I'm doing over here now. Can you see me now? Hey! I'm just warming the custard. And I'm going to stir it. I sure do not want it scorched. But you know, you can do your lemon vanilla to your taste. However, whatever tastes good to you. That's what makes it your own recipe. I'm gonna sneak it. Get this up. Tidy up a little bit. Why do you keep two towels? Because I'm always in this place of man. I don't need some crust. And my grandson said it'd be a different story, but he's not. that stove from you. Let that stuff, we don't want it to boil at all. Just come to a simmer. Clean this up a little bit. And then we can put our cookie sheet on the table and go drag all that flour and stuff and have it in the oven like that. Oh, you're hungry now, honey, huh? Okay. So we are here. And you want to sip it. When you put your custard in your pie crust, you're going to sip it. Make sure you don't have any cooked egg or anything. You want your custard to be smooth. Okay, so stand here. Stand in there. And I'm gonna tell you another secret I do on them my own towel. Now. So as my milk is warm enough. Stick your finger in it too. No, not, not yet. Mmm, mmm, it's so good. You know what? I'm telling you guys something. See, hey, we're gonna learn things together as well now. Let's see, this thing kind of crooked. Get that tidy. Come on now. Okay. I just discovered something. I put that custard in there overnight. Oh my. Wow, does it taste a whole lot better than if I just would have done it just now and poured it in the crust? Hmm. You just learned something. I think I prefer man do man the the day before and let it sit. Sure, it's got a much richer taste. Sure does. Now come on here, left. Oh, okay. I'm seeing smoke coming up. So 
Let's get you turned off. We're ready now. Okay. And what I'm going to do, instead of trying to take the uh, tray and put it in the oven full of custard, I'm going to open that. And grab my little oven mitt, pull the tray out, the uh, baking uh, tray out, and put our cookie sheet on there. You see, that way, let's see if I can get it so you guys can see it. How I'm doing it. See how I got it on here? There you, go. you got you your head. You know what I'm saying? You your head. <laughs> Grab your seal. I need it. I'm gonna get some more sasses. Okay. And pour it in there. Much as you can get in there, you know you want a full pie. You got dog in there, but you know what? That's the way I see it. But see what's on the bottom? That's just like cooked egg on the bottom. But we still got a full pie. Let's go now. There you go. My back. I'll make it easy so I can wash him out easy. Now, what are we gonna do? Okay. Now, here's the dirt. Well, you gotta use your head again. Now, take your time, be patient. Get this right on in there. Very slowly. You don't want to waste it everywhere. Very slowly. Get it in there. No. There we go. We did it. How about that? Right on. Yay! And now, we're going to bake it. Of course, on wood, y'all. I told you. Most everything, three, no, I, I'm sorry, on oh, this one is 400. And we bake it 25 to 30 minutes. And boy, this is gonna be a treat. I see you in a little bit, see what we got, what we come up with. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm cleaning the table after uh, rolling out pie dough. I want to show you a tip. You get your clean dish towel. I got a butter knife. Put that dish towel over that butter knife. You know where the table split and that flour get it now. You get and go right down the middle and you get clear clean. All that flour and stuff out of that crack. And I'm going to my table once again, make sure it's really clean of all that. And I'm putting down a, a cake rack so when my pie is ready and I take it out of the oven, I set it on here and that keeps the bottom crust from going soggy. Now, I've decided we're also going to fry some fish. I want fish. But this is a special kind of fish. Let me show it to you. Here's my bag. See. It's called lake perch. Now, don't get it confused with that cheap red stuff called ocean perch. I do not eat that. They have your whole house stinking. The people there's no house stinking. This is not that tasty to me. 
Hold on. Let me turn this off. But this, oh my God. So, I'm going to get this prepared for us to fry. And I've got a salad that I'm going to have with it. I bought it at Walmart, but it's a really good one. It's the apple walnut salad. I love it. Stay tuned. Oh, man. This a All that demonstrating I did, and the thing wasn't even on. Oh, damn. I was, show, I was showing you how to fry the lake perch. Oh, man. It's always something. <laughs> always. Ah. I showed you how to put the uh, breading together with the buttermilk cornmeal. Answer my buttermilk cornmeal. Showed you that. And some uh, onion powder, quarter teaspoon of salt, and about four turns of fresh ground black peppercorns. I use my uh, pepper grinder. Advise you guys to get one. This is getting on my nerve, but it's not going to stop me, guys. I'm going to be here. I'm looking at the pan now. Let me see. I do believe it might be ready. Oh boy, I thought the day of day was on. It's very frustrating. This is very frustrating. And it came out so beautiful. The fish came out perfect. Showed you how to fry it because the lake perch is so thin. You did. You fry it fast. Make sure your oil is very hot. I put in my cornmeal. Um, I'm just frustrated right now. But I can tell you. I put in my cornmeal, onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and that works out fine. I'm not going to trip over it. It came out delicious. And everybody, if you don't know how to fry fish, we'll fry more. Because like I was telling the young lady that asked about the fish I fried before with Adrian and Jamil, she called it a silverfish, but it smelt. S-M-E-L-T. And uh, I'm just going to... Let me... Uh, I believe my pie's ready. Let me get that out. And I will be doing that video too. So don't worry about it. I'm not. And I definitely will be doing uh, Lake Perch. It's my favorite fish. So. Okay. Let me get my cake rack. The reason I'm using the cake rack for pie is the fact I want to keep my crust uh, nice and crisp and flaky. And it won't get a soggy bottom if you just put it on a, a cake rack. If you just set it on the table while it's hot, it can get soggy. And I hate that. I put too much work into it. So let's grab that out of here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, no. Nope, that's not ready. Let me give it a little bit more time. Let's uh, get you a, a knife and stick in there. And it didn't come out clean, see? So you give it a few more minutes. It's almost yet, though. That crust. Mm -mm. It'll be ready in a couple minutes. Meantime, in between time. I can't wait to get into that. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. Oh boy, my back killing me, y'all. You can cheat and try a piece of this fish. Oh my goodness. I season the fish itself with just a little salt, very little salt, mm -mm. and smoked paprika. Not a lot now, because lake perch is a very delicate flavor fish. It's very delicious. You don't want to overpower it. That's really good. Really good. You guys got to try Lake Perch. If you haven't tried it already. Don't get it mixed up with that red stuff. Ocean Perch. Now, very bad house stink. People next door house going to stink. Totally. <laughs> okay. Mm, that is so delicious, guy. Oh. I'm going to go back to that store. I got it from. Mmm. And if it's still on sale, I'm telling you, I'm going to get me at least five more packs. I'm crazy. Wrap it up really good and tight with plastic wrap, then put it in the freezer bags. And it'll last in the freezer for a while. Because it's not going to be in there a long time. I'm telling you, that's how much I love it. Okay, let me fix my plate. By the time I fix my plate, I'm going to pull that pie out that oven. So let's do that. Let's set this back here. No. Nope. Set it over here for now. Here's my bag. Get rid of this. Oh! I'm excited, guys. <coughs> I got to show you my new high-tech garbage can. 